Right guys, welcome back to the new craziest laws. I did one earlier in the year, uh, in January sometime, and it got a good response and everyone seemed to enjoy it. To start off this next video, we have, <laughs> again, another crazy law. So, in Singapore, you may not walk around the house naked, because it's seen as, as porn. It, people see that as porn, apparently. You get arrested, if you get arrested. You're getting arrested, you're getting jail time for this stuff. Who, who looks out for it? It's not gonna be like, special CCTV cameras in the rooms, are there? It's just gonna, it, the only person that's gonna know whether they've done that or not is their family members. I don't think they're gonna report their own family members to the police. I think it's a bit crazy. So, Singapore, take that into account. So if you're, Singapore government, yeah, if you're watching this, do that. Right then, so the next one is, Another crazy look. If any person has a puppet show, what, like those little wire things that you walk on, a puppet show or a tumbling act, so I think I mean circus, I think this means, um, you will receive a $3 fine for the act of Im immoral practices. What does that even mean? Next one is at one time it was against the law to serve ice cream on cherry pie. Again, who? Who actually looks out for that? In California, a law created in 1925 makes it illegal to wiggle while dance. Though, you know, if you like a little shimmy shammy shing whilst you're busting out a couple of moves to the ding, you know, standard song, yeah, you'll get shot. In the 17th century, no citizen of Japan was allowed to leave the country or there was a death penalty. So it's like, it's this like Korea. Korea! In, in the 17th century, it's the ba that was the birth of Korea's ideas. You know what? I'm gonna make it. Lit I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to kill you if you go out of this country. In Oklahoma, no baseball team can hit the ball over the fence or out the ballpark. There's no punishment if you do, but you just can't do it. In England, in 1957, a man could be fined for not, not wearing a wool cap. Seems to be safe. Um, Tiddly Winks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, bit weird, but next one. In case you're wondering, in Texas, it's illegal to sell your eye. You know, it all comes across our minds. We all think of it. You know, I might just. I need to pay the rent, so you know, I might just. Uh, should be enough money. Thank you. Have my eye. So in Indiana, America that is, um, it's illegal to sell any soft drinks or milk. You can only sell alcoholic beverages in a liquor store in Indiana. So ah, oh, that that is understandable. I mean, the main not pointless in selling that in there. If no one's the only people going there for you know alcohol. But uh, what if you need to get something? Oh. Baths may not be taken between months of October and March. That's like half the year. That is literally half the year, man. What are you thinking? Why, why is it bad? Why is it bad? Why? It's, you're not hurting him. You're not committing a crime. I understand. You couldn't take a bath because you're like sniffing cracking now or something. You're not. He's having a bath, but you can't do half the year. So you might as well not have a bath in Indiana. In Sweden, when leaving someone's home, you have to wait until they get out the doorway to step outside before putting your coat on. What? I was just about to put my coat on. But you s do I have to? Yeah. Okay. Understandable. I I, I see. I see. Is that all right? Oh, sorry. How's that? All right. <laughs> see you later. Man. I mean, it's just crazy. In the 1900s, in China, they believed that it was less severe strangling a man than beheading a man because the body would not be permanently disfigured. Yeah, but you would, people that are watching that would see a guy's head off. What? China, you and me, right? Just here, just us two, you know. Sit down. And talk about your ideas in the 1800s. I mean, it's nothing to do with you now. I understand you're in a white country. I, I, I hear, but you know your history ain't very good. So, in case you're wondering, in Singapore, if you you know when you get the bad breath when you've had a garlic sarnie like you always like garlic 
sandwiches. Everyone has them. Just to say you have bad breath for some reason, you didn't brush your teeth, you didn't have time, you know, you couldn't be asked, you just don't do it, you don't think it's worth the time you spend. I do personally think it's a good idea brushing your teeth. But, in case you didn't, in Singapore, you'd be fine because they don't sell it. I mean, they don't sell mints, they don't sell chewing gum. And I think it's because they don't want to get the chewing gum on the on the on the on the floor of Singapore because they don't like it. I think that's the reason. Anyway, in case you're wondering, you know, you wanted to do your driving test in Ohio, not England, just Ohio. Yeah, the Ohio Driver's Education Manual states that you must hook the horn whenever you pass another car. So on the motorway, literally non-stop will just be. <laughs> non-stop. In Milan, Italy, it's against the law to not smile, except during a funeral or hospital visit. What about, uh, what about if you've lost a game of FIFA and, and you go outside to, you know, cool down and you're really pissed off and you don't go, you get arrested. Haha, <laughs> yes you would, boys. You heard it here first, boys and girls. You get arrested if you didn't smile unless someone had died or got cancer or something horrible has happened. So, yes, you heard it here first. Chewing, not chewing gum. Why did I say chewing? Why did I? Why am I? Why am I alive? That's the, that's the best question we all want to know. Why am I alive? It was once against the law in any country in the world to slam your car door in the city. In the 1500s. Correct me if I'm wrong, but cars didn't exist in the 1500s. No, they didn't. 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 So why is it against the law to slam a car door in the 1500s in any country? That's made up, I swear. It was proposed in the Rhode Island legislatures in 1970s that there was a $2 tax on every act of sexual intercourse. So that means you, so for each child you had, that would cost $2. Uh, I wouldn't even bother having kids, I mean, oh, you're paying extortionate prices to have kids, I mean, it's ridiculous. You're paying $2 per kid. So pretty much, you're saying your child is worth $2. Now talk about you're a priceless person to your daughter or son. And then you put a price on saying, oh yeah, but it cost me $2 in 2015. I mean, why? Were you away? And you cost me $2. I could have bought an egg and meal sandwich. Yeah, I have to have you. How does that make me feel? It's... <laughs> 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 It's illegal in Newcastle to have sex in a butcher's shop. In Canada, citizens may not be publicly moved bandages. It, it's disgusting when people do that. <laughs> I mean, it's like... <laughs> they just take... They take your blood and stuff off in the public. It's just so disgusting. Why? It's so disgusting. <laughs> Why is that against the law? I don't see why it's against the law. This is one thing that does piss me off sometimes, guys. And I'm sorry for saying that word. But people come to your house, you've invited them over your kind of heart. You said, oh yeah, come into my house, come and have some free dinner or something. And yet they still get served first. Your mum's like, yeah, business first. You're paying for this woman! Give me my food first! Not that little wanker's my best friend, i.e. wanker. Him over there. It He's come over to our house. We've invited him out of our kindness. So he's coming over. We could have easily not invited him. He had to pay for his dinner. But we've invited him. So my mum's spent my money, oh, not my money, her money, her money on food, an extra meal for someone else that we could have next day for me or someone else. And then he said, oh no, visitors first. Fuck off, mate. I mean, yeah, I understand. It's manners. But there's a limit of, of just manners and taking the piss. There is just one thing that annoys me about that. And when you're playing Xbox and you say, 
Oh yeah, visitors. We get to choose who we are on FIFA. I mean, I was going to choose who and Virginia goes, no, visitors first. I'm like, die. Don't just die. <laughs> because <laughs> you're clearly not getting I want to win this game. And I can only win with Real Madrid. So, if you're not going to accept that, then leave. <laughs> See you later. And that is what I want to say in my mind. In, no, in real life. That's what I say in my mind, but I want to say that in real life. But yeah, I just can't live. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching, as you always do, and you always do perfectly. That's good, I like that. Make sure you give it a like and a comment. Remember what they do. Absolutely nothing. Subscribe. I'll see you.